Hello, hello, trans surfer and the trans surfing curious. I'm Renee Garcia, and this is Trans Surfing TV. And today on Trans Surfing TV, old reality, please don't go. You're all I have. You're all I know. You're all I know, and I don't know what is beyond you. So I'll cling to you and clutch to you and create resistance for the alternatives flow offering me other options and variations because I've gotten so used to clutching onto this version of reality. I can't let go of it now. You know, this is like, I'm even here. Everyone's here. I think every single human being has the potential to evolve to something even higher and even better. Well, maybe not Elon Musk. Elon Musk probably tapped out at this point. <laughs> but the majority of us have bigger and better things out there waiting for us. This is, how can this not be? How can this not be the case? It absolutely is the case. And it's this knowledge, this unbelievable knowledge here, that is going to help you get there if you are willing to let go of your old reality. So this video is very much in line with the video that I gave the other day called Breakwater, right? Getting your little raft beyond that, that barrier, that breakwater that is keeping you restricted to a certain space. And this video is more about, what I would like it to be about is playing a slide, sort of an ambiguous slide, not a slide that has necessarily elements of what it is you exactly want because I know that a lot of people don't know what it is that they want, right? They don't know what it is that their heart and mind say yes over. They don't know what, they don't have the in an intention. They don't have a chosen goal, right? There, I get so many messages from people that are still struggling to find that thing. You know, I had somebody message me the other day and say, you're so lucky, you know, you're so lucky that I've listened to you talk and I've listened to your story and you're so fortunate that you found reality transurfing and w you, you took that as your goal. And now you have this amazing thing, which you're also using the concepts to, to move forward. And I wish that I could connect with something like that. You're so lucky. And I was like, for a brief moment, it kind of broke my heart a little bit because I do realize that I'm super fortunate, right? I definitely feel as though my world's taking care of me and connecting me with exactly what I need to connect with in order to not only connect to a higher version of reality and a higher version of myself, but offering me all the things that I need in order to disconnect from that old version of reality, right? Understanding where programming's coming into play, understanding where um, other people's ideas for me or old ways continue to keep me feeling ways that um, maybe I don't feel the self-esteem or the ability to move on, right? So lots of little things that have kept me stuck and kept me in places that were no longer nourishing this higher growth, right? Um, all of these things are being managed by this knowledge. And at the same time, the knowledge is like, catapulting me into my future, but I'm using it. I'm able to envision a version of reality that's higher and better, even if it isn't specific 
and I'm able to let go of that old version of reality that is keeping me stuck or confined in certain ways. So when this person messaged me and said that, I was just like, you know what? Here's the thing. I set the intention for me to connect with reality transurfing. I set the intention for me to come in front of something higher and bigger and better for me to meet up with that thing, right? So I don't know if you have heard me talk about the story, but uh, r shortly after I found Reality Transurfing, when it was still just a book to me, now it was a book that had changed my life and was changing my life, but everything was still kind of the same, right? All the set and decorations, my life as, I knew it was still the same. My mindset had changed, my worldview had changed, but I hadn't embarked on any new endeavors. I hadn't ch made any massive changes, right? So I have this easy lifestyle and things are you know, functioning in a way in my life that are supporting. I'm not in a place where I'm like, oh my God, I need money or you know, in, in, in any need of anything. But I knew a number of things that I sort of like didn't want to admit to myself. One, I was capable of so much more than that. Not only so much more like with my potential of what I had to offer the world, but so many different variations of reality that I knew were out there to live. And like, I just kept telling myself, well, this is an easy deal for you, right? This is an easy deal for you. You don't have to do much. You make enough to support your little overhead that is your life. You have your nice little space. I had a little Airstream at the time parked on my grandparents' property. I had a cute little garden. I had my sweet little grandma and grandpa there. It was like a cakewalk, right? But I knew that I was like selling myself short big time. And I just didn't want to like face that. And also too, I knew that there were skills that weren't being used, that life just wasn't being lived to the fullest. And this had been gnawing away at me and something else started to brew within that I could no longer avoid. And one day I met up with it face to face in an actual mirror. I mean, how trippy is this, right? So I get out of the shower, and I'm toweling myself off, and I wipe away the mirror, the fog on the mirror, and I look at myself, and I see wasted potential. I see a scared woman not living her life. I see a scared woman hiding. I see a scared woman clinging to that old reality, right? Clinging to that old reality. And I have this thought in my mind that just took me on an entirely different path that ha has been beyond anything that I could ever explain to anyone. And I still have a challenging time even explaining it to myself or reconciling it in my mind. And that thought was, life is easy for you, Renee. You've set it up this way, you're successful. Life is easy for you. But what are you doing for others? What are you doing for others? And what are you holding back that others could possibly benefit from? Now, this is even before I started to give my own interpretation of reality transurfing or speak publicly about reality transurfing. This was before any of this. The knowledge that I felt that I had at this point was all knowledge on like what not to do, right? How to not achieve success. I've achieved success in all the wrong ways and I have achieved success in all the right ways. So at this time, all I was really interested in was maybe helping people out that were in a similar position as I had been. Leading up to the moment where my reality did break, 
I found Reality Transurfing and I realized that I absolutely was clinging on to an old version of reality that was no longer serving me and it was time for me to like take flight. You know, it was time for me to finally fucking take flight. And I want this video to be about you maybe playing a slide and coming to an understanding that there absolutely is something bigger and better and higher out there for you in the world. And in order for you to go and meet this thing, you might have to do a little bit of work with letting the old reality go. Before I finish this video, remember to like it, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and join us on the International Transurfing Institute Facebook group. Lots of very highly engaged and meaningful conversations going on there. And Instagram, reality underscore transurfing, and my courses, reality 2.0, and Tufty 2.0 Game Changers if you are in fact in need of a complete reality renovation. Okay, so a few ways in which you can start to like determine, you know, determine some space, determine some space for yourself where, where you can start asking yourself some meaningful things. Am I clinging to that old version of reality? Is a new version of reality calling me out, right? Is a higher version, the higher version of myself trying to pull me up and I'm still stuck clinging on to that lower version of reality? So a few things to consider of why we tend to remain stuck. The first one that I want to talk about is time. I read probably a couple of years ago that human beings actually have a fairly negative relationship with the concept of time, that most people feel as though the majority of the time that's available to them is already passed, right? And there's actually like a split and it's pretty extreme. Like a lot of people, regardless of age, view like 80% of their life is behind them and there's only 20% left to live. So if you take this information and you apply it to what I'm talking about, a lot of times, you know, you can view maybe an idea that you have, maybe you want to become something but maybe it's something that you need to like go to school for a long time or you, there's a big process. And I'm sure you've said it to yourself. I've heard lots of people say this and I've said this to myself a lot. I don't have the time, right? So I don't have the time is like really in line with this idea of having a negative relationship with the concept of time, that 80-20 split. Um, you do have the time. You have as much time until you don't have time anymore. And the time is going to be used for something anyway, right? So, so let's say you want to become a doctor right now, or you've had the idea to become a doctor, but you're like, oh, Jesus Christ, that's going to be you know, eight years of school minimum, probably more than that, 10, right? So let's say you're 40 years old right now and you are, you, you, you're, your calling has, has been to be a doctor. Like you felt that that is what you wanted to do with your life, but you know, time sort of went by and you didn't do it and it's always kind of there. I actually still have mine floating in the background just a little bit and I thought I had kind of closed the door on it a long time ago and I realized even in my 40s now, you know what? If I wanted to do it, I could absolutely do it. I could absolutely do it because the time is going by anyway. So why not spend it doing the thing that I want to do, right? So becoming the thing that I want to become. So the time is going, you have the time now and you will always have the time until you do not have the time anymore. So it's about like, like getting your mind into a place where 
and Vadim Zeeland talks about this in the book, that the mirror does not understand the concept of time, right? There, time is an absolute human construct. All you need to do is focus on showing your mirror the image that you want to see. And if you do this for an extended period of time, sometimes shorter, sometimes longer, you will become that thing. So letting go entirely of the entire problem of time, right? And also starting to have a healthier relationship with time to where you view maybe 50% of your life is behind you and 50% is in front of you, or even you could do a wilder split, right? And imagine yourself living to be 120 years old. Who cares if you don't live to 120 years old? Give yourself that extra like, okay, so I'm, I'm 42 years old. I've got freaking 60 plus years to do whatever I want, I could create so many new realities and let go of so many old realities in this time. It's almost stupid, right? So another reason we remain stuck, others, obviously, old relationships no longer serving us, people wanting us to adhere to the thing that's been set up, the way that it's been set up and not rock the boat, right? But again, is this just, you know, something you, 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 you simply need to manage in order to free yourself up a little bit and go? Now, this doesn't mean necessarily getting rid of people. Sometimes it does, but a lot of times it doesn't. And I've had some people contact me and be like, oh, the reality transferring stuff's great, but I just don't really, I really don't want to give up my life as it is. I kind of like my life in certain ways and other ways I don't feel satisfied. Nobody's actually telling you to give up anything. You could do everything with the current set and decorations that you already have. Same house, same partner, same whatever. It's just deciding that you are going to evolve and take things with your current circumstances in an entirely new direction. Sometimes it's not possible, sometimes it is. Okay, so now on to limiting beliefs. It's a doozy. I'm just gonna touch on it here because this could be an entire video on its own. But limiting beliefs of like, well, maybe this is uh, the best thing that's available to me and going and finding your you know, soul's purpose or that thing you know that completely ignites heart and mind coordination that's for other people that's not for me maybe i just don't have this thing that stuff's intended for others maybe i miss the boat maybe you know just all these like these small thoughts of all of this stuff being for other people just like vadim zeeland talked about in the very beginning of reality transserving when he you know, w w was telling the story of the man overlooking the beautiful town with the guardian, and he says, well, God, wouldn't that be nice? And the guardian just kind of laughs. And it's like, you have, no, you have no idea. Like, you have access to it just the same as everyone else. Why are you up here looking at it from a distance saying, wouldn't that be nice? Go walk down into the village and take your life, right? Take the life that you want. It is there for you. There are higher and better possibilities out there waiting for you. There is no way that there aren't. Comfort, comfort is really a big one in keeping us stuck, right? Oh, you know, but I'm comfortable here and it might not be the best, but I'm comfortable here. What's more important, comfort or an adventure? and feeling as though you tapped that, right? Feeling as though you went into the world and maximized, maximized yourself, maximized your opportunities, maximized whatever version of reality that is available to you that you went into that and did what you could do to see the best version of reality that you could create for yourself with the skills and tools that you have now. Comfort is overrated. 
because in my opinion, every single time I've been comfortable, there's been a nagging voice in there. You are just wasting it, Renee. You are just wasting it. So finally, to wrap this video up, quick thought. What I have may be better than what's out there, right? This is in line with comfort, but this is, again, very limited thinking that you have now maximized the version of reality that you could, that you could uh, achieve for yourself. You're there, right? There's no way. Even me, even everyone, even everyone, except for Elon Musk. <laughs> Elon Musk has maximized, right? <laughs> so so he, just start to, if you are struggling today with understanding what the hell it is that I'm talking about, and well, I don't know what to do to connect with that thing, and I don't know if there's something out there that my heart and mind are going to feel ignited over. I don't know what that is. I don't know how to connect with it. This is what I'm going to suggest to leave those of you that have watched to the end. Try to envision, try to sense, try to feel a version of yourself ha living a higher and better reality starting today, right? Feel a little bit better about yourself. Feel a little bit better about opportunities, right? Like there are going to be opportunities to come. Open yourself up, play a slide of you just being open to the world to show you the ways that you can sort of move on to a higher version of reality or let go of that older version of reality, right? Play this slide and feel the essence of this future version of you having accomplished a better version of reality for yourself. This is exactly how outer intention works. When, when you have this sensation, when you have this, this feeling that you can feel viscerally and you can even play in your mind, it doesn't need to be specific, you're happier, healthier, wealthier, better looking, whatever it is, this frequency goes out into the world, right? It goes out into the world and attracts exactly what it is you need to fulfill this order. This is how reality transurfing works. This is what I'm doing now, and I'm attracting everything that I need to pull me up to those higher versions of reality, right? And at the same time, tools are being offered to me, and I'm sharpening these tools and other methods and ways in which I can let go of those lower, versions, those older versions of reality that are no longer serving me or my higher self. What do you think of this video? Do you like it? If you like it, please thumbs up and comment below. Greatly appreciated here at Transurfing TV. Join us on the Facebook group and see you all in a couple days. Bye guys.